As soccer players, it is important to consistently eat wholesome foods in order to fuel daily activity, build and repair muscle, and develop a strong immune system. Before games or practices, your nutrition goals are very similar, but your focus should shift to eating easily digestible foods in order to fuel the activity and improve gut tolerance. Focus on eating meals and snacks that are high carbohydrate, moderate protein, low fat, and low fiber. Also, don't forget about hydration. Drink water in about the amount of two to four milliliters per pound body weight in the two to four hours before your game or practice. This quantity amounts to about one to two cups for a 120 pound person, or two and a half cups for a 150 to 160 pound person. You may need more or less water if your body weight is higher or lower. You may also need more or less depending on the heat or humidity outside. Over the course of this video, I will review five pregame meals that you can eat three to four hours before your game or practice, four snacks that you can eat within one to two hours before your game or practice, and three types of foods you should avoid before your game or practice. The first example of a good breakfast to eat before a game or practice is fruit salad, with white toast, and an egg or two. Note that I've chosen white toast over brown in order to reduce the fiber. The next example of something to eat before a game of practice is oats with berries and nuts. Choose a small amount of nuts in order to reduce the fat. The next example of a meal to eat before a game of practice is a sandwich and an apple. Note that I've chosen white bread over brown in order to reduce the fiber. If you have a larger appetite, feel free to choose one to two sandwiches before your game or practice. Another example of a pre-game meal is rice with grilled protein and vegetables. Note that the rice is white in order to reduce the fiber and there are no added oils or fats. And finally, a great example of a pre-game meal is the popular choice of pasta with meatballs, a small amount of tomato sauce, and a small amount of vegetables. Again, reduce the oils and keep the protein in a moderate amount. The following are four ideas for snacks that you can eat within one to two hours of your game of practice. Remember to keep them high carbohydrate, low fat, and low fiber, and include smaller portions so that they are digested before you hit the field. The first example is a carbohydrate like rice or oats with some applesauce. The second example is something like white bread or a bagel with a small amount of peanut butter. The third example is bananas and crackers. The crackers are very well tolerated before activity. And finally, feel free to drink your calories before your game or practice as liquids are very easily digested. An ice slurry is a good example of something to drink before a very hot and humid game. The following are three examples of types of foods to avoid before your game or practice in order to improve your gut tolerance during the game. The first thing to avoid before a game or practice is any behavior or food that puts air in your gut. The act of drinking through a straw will do this, eating popcorn will do this, or eating gum will do this. Avoid these three foods or food behaviors in order to improve your gut tolerance during the game. The next thing to avoid before game or practice are high fiber foods. Anything that is high in something called insoluble fiber, which you find in bran and bran flakes and high fiber breads, will cause gut intolerance during your game. Many people realize that they should avoid fries, chips, and burgers before a game or practice. But did you know that other foods high in fat should also be avoided? Foods like avocados, cheese, meats, and croissants are all examples of foods that are high in fat that you should stay away from before a game or practice. In summary, before you hit the field, choose high carbohydrate, moderate protein, low fat and low fiber meals and snacks. Make nutrition work for you on game day.